So I'm sure a lot of us have a hobby, something that we really enjoy doing. And these hobbies can encompass a great deal of our personality. I'm sure when growing up, you shared your hobbies with your family and friends with the hopes that they take interest or at least find what you do cool. But could you imagine if your friends went out of their way to diminish your hobby? Make whatever you take interest in feel like it's a pointless endeavor? I'm certain a few of you guys have experienced that, and if that's the case, I'm sorry. That's god-awful. I know how that feels. But I hope that less of you have experienced what this parent did to their son. Today's story comes from r slash am I the asshole. It's a text subreddit that covers people's actions and whether or not they were the asshole in that situation. Very simple stuff. It can be really funny and also really tragic, and today we're going to be talking about the latter. Am I the asshole for deleting my son's Minecraft world? Yeah, pretty grimy, am I right? I have two children, a nine-year-old son and a six-year-old daughter. My son made a Minecraft world where he built quite an impressive castle on an island, which he was very proud to show me. Now that sounds pretty normal enough, I can remember countless times where I've shown my parents what I've built in Minecraft, and yet they've never done this to me. Since school was cancelled, he's had issues with waking up on time. He was supposed to wake up at 7 each morning, but for the past month he's been sleeping in till about 9 or 10. I always set an alarm for him, but he sleeps right through it, and I don't wake him up because waking himself up is a skill that he needs to learn. I told him about two weeks ago that there's going to be consequences for him if he continues to sleep in every single morning. At first he understood and was waking up on time every morning, but for the past week or so, he's fallen back into his old habits. I told him yesterday that this was his final warning and today he slept in till 11. Okay, so I completely understand trying to teach discipline, that being able to wake up on a reasonable time and start your day. But this post was made recently, like six days ago recently. So your child is most likely not in class. And if that's the case, asking him to wake up at a normal time is pointless. He probably just has busy work to complete. But let's just say you want to teach him to have a normal sleep schedule, which is an important thing to establish for a nine-year-old kid. But what this parent does to teach their kid a lesson about waking up on time is awful. So I followed through with my warning and went to the computer and deleted his favorite Minecraft world. I also took away his computer privileges for the next month. And when I told him, he started screaming and crying. He told me that he spent a whole year working on that world and he's very distraught that he's never going to see it again. He's been crying and sobbing throughout the day and has refused to eat any of his meals. And there it is! This person wins the worst parent of the world award. Congratulations, we'll, we'll bring your jersey, we'll pull your jersey up to the rafters. In all seriousness, what made you think that this was a smart thing to do, let alone a rational thing to do? The parent remained anonymous in this story. We don't know his or her name, but what I do know is that you've irreparably destroyed your relationship with your child at such an early age. Let me explain what exactly you just did. Your nine-year-old child went out of his way to show you something that he created in a game that he cares about to gauge your interest and see your reaction. He wanted praise from you. He wanted your attention. And based on how you wrote this entire thing, you seem to be impressed with his creation, yet you went out of your way to destroy it. And for what? To teach him a lesson about, you know, sleeping on time and waking up on time? Seriously? All that you've done is teach this kid to never share anything with you ever again. Anything that he actually cares about, he's going to keep to himself because he fears that you're going to destroy it. And who would blame him? You certainly have the follow through to do something like this again to any other game that he plays or anything else that he's interested in. I know for a fact I would be so distraught if my parents did this to me. And no, it's not just because it's Minecraft, it's simply because it's an interest that a child has. I know for a fact if my parents came into my room when I was younger and cut up all my Pokemon cards or destroyed all my cubes, I would have a seething resentment for them because you destroyed something that I'm genuinely interested in and all for what? A so-called lesson that I need to learn? I would just be... I would be livid, I would be angry, but I'm glad that I never had to deal with that. I'm glad and I'm lucky to have parents who are smart enough to discipline me and teach me lessons in a very different way. And to whoever wrote this, I'll tell you what my parents would have done. It's really simple. Get ready, get ready. It's going to blow your mind. Just take the laptop away. You bought it. You, it, he doesn't own it, just take the laptop away and say, hey, wake up on time for a couple weeks, you get to have the laptop back. Oh, there you go, it's done, it's finished. Now you can discipline your child and you don't have to traumatize him. But you know what's better than just having an opinion? It's great when other people agree with you. Yeah, you're looking at this right. The post got over 6,000 upvotes, so it, it certainly blew up on the subreddit. And a bunch of people added their two cents. And the comment that I'm about to share with you is probably one of the best. 
I'm so sad for your son. OP, my son is about the same age, and I can't imagine purposely doing something so mean to him. Our kids have had their entire world upended right now. No teachers, no friends, and we're their parents in their lifeline right now, and you just let your son know following the rules and being right and behaving were more important to you than helping him through these times. Is it possible he's not sleeping well because he's stressed or anxious? The entire world has changed pretty abruptly. It's possible that he's more tired than he would normally be, and his mind is processing big changes right now. Is it possible his circadian rhythm doesn't align with your idea of when he should be awake? There's a lot of possibilities, but you chose to believe he was either being lazy or disrespectful. My mom was like you. To this day, I have trouble opening up to her and showing her anything I'm proud of. I knew it was ammunition that could be used against me. I self-sabotage because I'd rather take something away from myself than let someone else take it from me. And even though I've been out of her home for 20 years, I still fight for myself to not self-sabotage because no one can hurt me anymore. He worked on this for a year, and now he's stuck in isolation, social distancing with someone who values getting up at 7 more than the work he put into creating something. But to end today's video on a positive note, uh, I want to tell you a story. Now I started playing Minecraft around when I was 11 years old, Jesus that was a long time ago, and uh, at that time I was really confused about the game, like any 6th grader would be. I genuinely thought that living in villages made you safer in some capacity because those homes were already built and I didn't know how to build myself a house, so I would go out of my way to restart worlds until I would either spawn near a village or in a village. So I finally spawned in one and I stole a house from one of the villagers, you know, because what are they going to do? They can't do anything. And I turned it into my mansion, you know, I put a balcony on it and I put like a bunch of ladders, a bathroom, it was, it was cool, like it was, it was the best house I've ever built ever even though I didn't really build it, you know, all the way. I'm telling you this because I shared this creation of mine with my dad, and my dad would stand next to my desk while I give him a whole tour of my house and everything that's in it, everything that I found in the world, everything that I mined, all the diamonds that I found, and he would stand there and just be interested. He, he didn't know anything about the game, but he was willing and able to just stand there and encourage me and indulge me for that time. He made me feel that my little small house was the greatest achievement I've ever done in the game and something that was worth praise. And I'll never forget that simply because he showed a little bit of interest in my hobby, something that I enjoy doing. And in that moment, we had a shared interest. This parent seems to want to have that with their son. They're going out of their way to learn about what their son is interested in, but they're using that information to punish them, something that my parents, and especially my father, would have never done to me. So the moral of the story here, if you're a parent and you're watching right now and you're listening, there's better ways to discipline your children, and there's also awesome ways for you to connect with them, and playing video games or just indulging in any of their hobbies is a great way to start. What's up everybody, it's your boy Aylerus, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you like the video, and if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe fam, what you doing watching videos, and not subscribing, and if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you can get these notifications every time. Seriously, I enjoyed making this video, a lot of you guys wanted more of this long form commentary content, so here you go, I'm gonna give you more of that. If you wanna request any other topics you want me to cover, I'm pretty much open to everything, you can let me know in the comments down below. Um, there also is a poll in the eye icon in your top right hand corner it's a you know little poll to see if you guys like the video or not and if i want to continue making stuff like this because i enjoy it and it seems like you guys enjoyed it too uh also big news if you haven't noticed the uh, r slash i'm a total piece of shit number nine got a million views like what oh my god like it's just it's nuts it's crazy i didn't think that people would actually like that series as much as they did it's insane that's the first video on my channel to ever reach such a number of views ever so i just i want to thank you guys that's amazing uh it's a scary number because that's a that's a lot of people that's whoo whoo and an even bigger thanks to all of my Patreon supporters. Thank you to Canned Eggplant, Finny, Jonas, Hostmar, Rachel, This Fool, Dustin, and Will Billy. Thank you so much for your support. It's greatly appreciated. If you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description. One to my merch store and one to my Patreon. And both funds go directly into the channel. Make sure we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.